Hey you guys, in this video I'm going to show how to add in an auxiliary port into your mid-2000s Subaru stereo. This one does require a little bit of soldering, but the part that we're going to use will allow us to bypass the FM transmitter when it's plugged in, and then when the aux is unplugged, it will revert back to the FM transmitter. So first step, you want to put the handbrake on, and we're going to need to move this into a neutral position. Then you can use a flat screwdriver to pop this piece off or your fingernails if they're tough enough. Then you want to take a flat screwdriver and pry up underneath this piece here. And then unplug this connector. Now you've got these two screws, and then clips just hold on these two side pieces that can then be pulled off. Now, at this point, you have a few screws on either side of the radio that need to be removed in order to slide this whole head unit out. And we've got two deep screws in here. And just like that, I'm gonna slide out. So now with this radio unscrewed at the sides, you can start removing connectors. We have one right here for the hazard lights. There's a little switch or clip on the bottom if you push up on that. There we go. We have a, I believe a ground screwed onto the side here. It's a gray wire. I wanna unscrew that. Now we have a large connector on the back. There's a, a clip on the top, and then you have three more here, each with a latch on the top. And then you have your radio antenna, I believe, here. If you can reach in a little bit, there's an antenna connector right here on the inside. Stereo unit free. So now we want to disassemble this radio. Just gently pry this off of the little latches. Now we've got these screws that need to be removed to get the faceplate off. It looks like these two side wings need to pop off. These were the mounting brackets. I want to disconnect this ribbon cable from the CD. Now this here is the FM module and these connectors on the bottom are what we want to tie into. You can see right here and here there are two traces that go to those two resistors. What we want to do is we'll slice those two to break that connection and then on this side we'll attach one pair of wires and on this side the other pair of wires. So this part is where the magic happens. This is a 1 8 inch pass-through switch jack. It's got five pins on it, a ground, and then two left and two right. So what happens when a connection is not plugged in, the left will pass through in one left and out the other left. Same also with the right. But then when you plug a jack into it, it will bypass the input left and right, in this case, the FM stereo, and take the input from the jack that is plugged in. I got this part for about $2.20 on DigiKey. The DigiKey part number is SC1461-ND. Pin one right here is gonna be our ground. Pin two right here is our left aux in. Our pin three here, orange, is our right radio. Our pin four, red, is our right aux in. And our purple five is our left radio. Now let's get that soldered up. I should mention also, this connector doesn't come with these wires. I soldered those on and put some heat shrink on there. They're 24 gauge, 
which I think should be sufficient. Now that these traces have been cut, we're gonna solder on the radio side connections on this side and the auxiliary or bypass connections on this side. So now looking at this, we have the orange pin three, right radio is what we're calling it. Purple is left radio pin five. Black we've got just tied to a ground and then blue on the resistor there is our left what we're calling aux left and then red is our aux right so that will bypass it because of that cut there go through orange into the switch and if nothing's plugged in it'll follow through into the red and continue on its merry way and then purple will do the same thing but if an aux is plugged in that will not connect these two and take the signal from your phone or whatever you're playing and just pass that in right and left into the system as if it were the radio. So now that these are all soldered on and the connections are good to go, we're gonna put everything back together. So let's thread these through on the faceplate. Now that this piece is all assembled, this connection is then going to be routed up through here into the front for the front panel here. So in order to mount that, it has a threaded nut. So we're gonna drill out a piece on this top left corner so that we can fit that through and screw it on for easy access. Starting with this small bit to guide it, this one will be a quarter inch bit. So with this hole drilled and that taken off, it's not quite long enough to thread the nut on. So I'm gonna take a chisel and just shave that thickness down just a little bit. Okay, now with the back of this thinned up so that it can thread on, let's assemble the last part. All right, now for the reinstall. Save time, threw a couple wires back in. Remember you've got the connector for the hazard lights, the grounded plug, you've got the large connector in the back right, and then you have the antenna connector, and then the three other connectors on the back left. One's four pin, one's five pin, and one's the single pin. And that should do it. Gently slide it back in there. Now before we throw this all back together, our moment of truth. Turn it on. Go to FM. So radio works. I'll plug this guy in. And now it's playing through the auxiliary port. Back to the radio. Back to the aux port. How cool is that? Woo hoo! Over and out.